Ripple XRP Spark Token Price Prediction. Hi guys, it's Crypto Rocco. In today's video, guys, I'll be talking about what exactly is Spark Token. There's lots of talks about Spark Token airdrop, so I'll explain to you exactly what this airdrop is, how to get your Spark Token if you already own XRP. If you're looking to buy XRP, I'll be sharing with you how you can buy XRP and make sure you get that Spark Token. I'll be talking about the tokenomics as well. I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on XRP price predictions or where to buy XRP. I'm still long XRP. I'll also touch on how we have been trading XRP is so if you've been following my YouTube channel I shared a buy signal above here so I'll be sharing with you exactly how we are trading XRP on a longer time frame and also in a shorter time frame the trades we are taking and where I don't want XRP to go below and where I would look to buy more XRP at the end of the video I'll share with you exactly that so guys, slightly longer video, but really important video if you're interested in XRP and Spark Token. So what is uh, the Spark Token? The flare is, I'll just read this important bit. I will touch on in a bit more detail because to me, it's quite interesting as well, especially uh, what uh, XRP, uh, what uh, Spark Token is trying to do with Ethereum and XRP Ledger and bring smart contract capability for XRP tokens. That is something that I'm personally really interested in. So flare is distributed network with some unique properties it can be used to create two-way bridges between networks such as ethereum and xrp leisure this means that it allows xrp tokens to be used with smart contracts spark token is a native token of flare that's why we're talking about spark a portion of the supply is airdropped to xrp holders including those on binance so if you're holding it on binance that's where my xrp is that's fine all you have to do is hold your xrp on binance and you can get your share of airdrop tokens if it's on binance Binance, then it's fairly simple if it's also on coinbase this is actually quite big news because I don't think coinbase announced previously but again this is my thoughts on it maybe the people were taking their XRP out of Coinbase to other exchanges where they could get Spark token. Maybe that's why Coinbase is supporting this now. Again, Coinbase might have been supporting it anyway, but that is something that, you know, could have been the reason why um, Coinbase are doing it. So it, it is, to, in my opinion, a big news. A Bitstamp, another exchange, and there's a few other exchanges doing it as well. Revolut, if you hold your tokens there, you will be el eligible for Spark tokens. One thing I will say, guys, is uh, just, you know, don't buy it on the last minute. Buy it, you know, a day before. If you're interested, I'll share with you how I'd be looking to trade it but you know don't buy it at the last minute it explains to you read 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 up if it's in coinbase read up if it's on when they'll take when is the snapshot date so read up on your own exchange so we can see in coinbase uh, december 1200 am utc uh, on uh, bitstamp similar time so make sure uh, that you know exactly what time whichever exchange you hold just something that you have to do especially if you're investing your hard-earned money you should be doing that yourself i'm trying to give you an overview of everything you need to know but you need to do it, be doing that yourself so uh, come back to this uh, i wanted to share the juicy information because i'm sure most people are interested in how to get the airdrop but this is something to me is quite interesting again a lot of people know i'm not the, the, i'm not investing and i'm not a massive supporter of xrp ripple mistakenly i get told i hate xrp i don't hate xrp i, I hate the the youtubers that say xrp to 500 589 and i know i talk about breakouts as well but you know as long when xrp was below 30 cent i wasn't as interested and if xrp get, gets below 50 cent i'll share with you that video but you know i'm not an xrp hater i love i would love if xrp uh, can you know try to do what they're trying to do with international money transfer what they're trying to do with the spark now and xrp tokens i'm really interested in the project i want every cryptocurrency and blockchain to succeed that is why i'm um, although i'm a trader i would love nothing more than blockchain and cryptocurrency to succeed so as you may know ripple xrp is a global payment and foreign exchange network while it has been optimized for this use case it is limited on uh, utility when it comes to other types of functionality flare networks aims to solve that by introducing support for smart contracts. So what is Flare Network? That integra it integrates Ethereum virtual machine, uh, EVM basically converts smart tokens, uh, smart contracts into instructions that computer can read. This enables the network to run Turing complete, uh, complete smart contracts Turing completeness means that it can run virtually on any computational task as long as there is enough memory to run it. Uh, we won't get into the technical integrity here, but the bottom line is Flare consensus algorithm doesn't rely on economic mechanism like proof of stake to maintain security of the network. 
So because it enables network token to be used for other use cases, even the ones that would be dangerous for networks that do rely on token for security, basically according to creators of Flare, this design choice adds more versatility. So what is marked Spark token? It is the native token for Flare. It, 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 its base use case is similarity to that of the native tokens to prevent spam attacks. If transactions would be free, spamming and congestion network with useless transaction would also be free. So that is the... Uh, with reason for Spark token. In addition, a collateral with a decentralized application, dApps for providing data to run on-chain Oracle to participate protocol governance. So uh, this is the functionality to me is quite interesting. I won't get too much into this because this will complicate things. So FXRP is a trustless representation of XRP token on the Flare network. It can be created and redeemed by XRP holders through smart contracts. So in the gist, that is what it is. Uh, how to get Spark tokens airdrop on XRP holders on Binance. So I'm, I'm assuming a lot of you are holding it on Binance. Uh, this is how you get it. If you just hold it, snapshot will be taken on this uh, time, as you can see, and you'll get your airdrops token. So I want to touch a bit more on the tokenomics because that is something that if you're investing in anything, is something that I personally do. Uh, so key takeaways, Flare Networks, FLR tokens um, will be distributed based on XRP holding on 000 UTC December. Numerous exchanges will be supporting it like I've said through Flare will snapshot XRP balance this month FLR tokens will not be distributed until 2021 so this is a date you guys have to think about um, the, the the way it will be given I'll read up a bit more on this now participant will receive spark tokens based on the XRP balances on tw December 12th spark tokens will be distributed when Flare network goes live between Q1 and Q2 in 2021 the total supply is 100 billion Flare network collect user base will claim 45 billion FLR through airdrops distribution details depend on the XRP held first round of distribution of flare network will launch 50% of total claim amounts to users users will receive the reminder over the next 25 to 34 months that is something interesting to me that you'll get it over 25 to 34 months so you know sometimes you get it and you dump it that might not happen i'll talk about what the effects on it on price of xrp and what will happen on the 12th of december especially to that price and from my previous experiences on on uh, news such news such as this airdrop how the price affects because at the end of the uh, at the end guys it's all about psychology and what people are going to do so my technical analysis all my trading that i share so i mean the in the in youtube i share with exactly which coins i'm buying and selling on our educational group i share you know what levels i'm buying stop losses entries this is an xrp uh, xrp trade we took in the group i'll share that with you uh, but you know it's all about psychology people buying and selling spark tokens have caused interest in people in buying xrp lots of people have bought it if that ends would people like to sell so there might be some sell or supply pressure coming in even if it's about uh, trading is about demand and supply if supply increases then the price would be going down again if you're interested in trading strategies how we trade i'll leave the links below for you to check out but let's come back to this video so this is how it's going to be distributed. Concerns about conflict of interest has been raised. Ripple Labs, one of the largest holders of XRP, could hypothetically gain a large share of the airdrop tokens. However, Flare Networks has excluded Ripple Labs and employees from the airdrop. This is something that I really like. So, you know, if XRP, if Ripple Company, Ripple Labs got XRP, then, you know, they would be getting a lot of FLR tokens or Spark tokens. So it's good to see that they're not getting that. So again, it goes into talking about how how uh, you can claim the spark token so why does flare networks uh, matter it talks about the ethereum like functionality on xrp ledger which we have already touched on and i do think that this news have helped push the price up so that's the fundamental news out the way let's go back to the trading analysis now hopefully you guys are still enjoying this video if you have any questions, I'm doing a free live uh, live stream on YouTube. So in our educational group, I do three to four live streams a week. In YouTube, I try and do one every other month or once a month. This is the last live stream I'm doing this month. If you click set reminder, you'll get notified when I'm going live. You can also ask me any questions, request any coins you want me to review. So I'll be going live in three to four hours, 7 p.m. UK time. I'll see you guys then. So XRP, guys, the key level I was watching was 30 cent. Once 30 cent broke out, you can see the huge rally i took a loss around here because i thought this was going to move when it got above 30 cent it went a lot lower this is exactly when i 
uh, got into XRP and I said as long as we stay above this I'm long I highly people might be saying did you actually trade it I highly recommend you go watch these videos I shared exactly where I was buying and selling XRP it's been one of my best trades this year we've waited over a year to take these trades for long time frame trades you have to be very patient and I shared exactly my positions I recommend you check that out I will share with you a shorter time frame trade but let me share with you how we traded it then i took some off at 50 cent i actually took some off here and took some off at 70 so i'm still in owning 25 percent of that big position that i got in xrp what i am looking for now in xrp is to hold above 50 cent it's broken below some key structures already i was looking to buy some xrp on a break above here we did not get again i was looking to buy xrp over there and over here i've not got those setups it's just going down i really don't want it to get back below 50 cent if it does get back below 50 cent especially after this airdrop i probably will look to sell xrp and need potentially buy cheaper or if it stops me out and then it gets back above 70 cent i'd look to take a trade then that's just my opinion i really don't like this structure i do think if you've gone to my head i think we're going to see a spike up and then if it gets back above 70 i'll look to buy more uh, but previously when we have had these pumps guys it, it bounced a bit then carried on lower so i really do not want it to get back below 50 cent i've got my alert set so in the educational group i'll let you guys know if you're part of it in in terms of a uh, trade now like i said as long as it's above 50 cent i'm holding i've not got a short time frame trade the previous trade i took i think i explained this in this video if you watch the previous xrp video this was just a nice basing structure higher lows breakout above you can see i posted it before it was going out where my stop was going to be and it was a really nice trade so that was the only trade i took recently on a shorter time frame uh, for me to take another trade i would need to see xrp get back above at least 60 cent on a pullback ideally above 70 cent those are the trades i will be looking for so like i've talked about demand and supply again i did a educational piece again you can get access to my courses live streams but, but just to review that demand and supply is everything guys uh, when people want to buy when the price is going up there's news about spark token there's lots of demand the price goes up after the spark token if there's not much news if the price is going down if there's bad news there'll be more selling pressure and the price could be going down in the shorter time frame long time frame if you love xrp then that's fine you're holding for longer time frame and even for a longer time frame investment i like to buy it cheap you know when it was around 20 cent if it pulls back to 30 cent if you want to buy investment times that's when you buy you don't you know buy something that's gone up 500 percent already so that's my thoughts on xrp so as long as it's about 50 cent above that daily moving average i like and um, if you're looking to get in now you can buy some now for the spark token if it gets back below you can exit so that's my trading thoughts on xrp I shared with you my thoughts on the spark tokens i really like what they're trying to do especially the smart contract functionality that it brings to the xrp leisure so thank you very much for watching this video slightly uh, longer video but lots of information hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions you know comment below i'll reply to it going to be doing a live stream in three to four hours i try and do one a free live stream for you guys on youtube i really appreciate you guys if you want to take your train to the next level uh, to get access to my courses live stream telegram group and all that there's a special offer you can check it out if not guys just smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button i appreciate all you guys for supporting me and i'll continue to provide awesome content for you guys so thank you very much to end the video, my question to you guys is what is your thoughts on XRP and Spark tokens? Comment below your price predictions for XRP. Do you like Spark token? Comment below your thoughts and let's have a discussion. So thank you very much. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.